Hey guys, welcome to uh, another unboxing, I guess. Um, today we've got Beetlejuice, the complete series on DVD. And, uh, yes, the cartoon series, obviously. Um, I remember watching the show, like, as a small kid. And, like, I think I have earlier memories of this than the actual movie, which it's based on. Which, I do love that movie, and I've seen that a lot more than this. In fact... I mean, I don't know if it was right to even buy this, considering that I, uh, you know, it's been so long. I, it's been literally since, like, before I was in fucking school. Like, since before kindergarten, since I've seen this. But, uh, I guess you could say it's a gamble when I'm buying a series of 94 episodes on a show I barely remember. But, I think it's a good gamble, because shows of this style... And shows of this era, I, I tend to enjoy Tiny Toons Adventures, uh, Animaniacs, and this in particular is based on a character and a concept that I very much did enjoy. Even though, uh, memory serves, it is kind of not really makes sense the way that, like, suddenly Beetlejuice and Lydia are just pals now and hang out casually. You know, considering he kind of, uh, forced her into marriage, but, uh, so you can see it's by Shout Factory, and they usually make some pretty solid fucking DVD sets, and I will say so far, size-wise, it's a nice set, and I do, judging just by the side here, I do like that each one comes in an individual, uh, standard DVD case. Uh, that's always nice, uh, makes it feel like they put in the extra effort, and, uh, and you're getting your money's worth, so let's open her up. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's pop these open. Uh, it does appear. Sorry for the glare. That each one of these has a uh, different cover. Although I will deduct some points here for lack of creativity. Like, I do like the uniform of, you know, Beetlejuice dead center, that's proper, and the checkerboard background uh, of various colors. I do like the uniform of that, but where I'm deducting points for style is that, I mean, he's wearing the same outfit in both of these. I mean, he's got tails, like dragon tails in this one, and whereas this one, he's dressed as a jester. So it's kind of like there's only three movies, three... uh I guess, of the box sets, or I guess the DVDs, and, like, these two are so uniform, like, just in the fact that he's wearing the same exact outfit, whereas this one seems completely disconnected, so it's a nitpick, but fuck it. Let's open this. And, yay, my fucking favorite. You know how I feel about this when the DVDs are stacked, but there's only, like, I guess four discs in a thing, and the, if the plastic's solid and good, oh, that's nice, a little, uh, art scene there, uh, then it's usually not a problem, so it's not really an issue. Um, okay, so we've got this one open now, and one, two, three, four, uh, basically the same kind of setup here, different little scene, all the discs. And look at that! Yeah, I opened it, and this is what I was greeted to. Which is exactly why I hate when they stack the discs this way. <sighs> I mean, it's like, bruh, I shouldn't be at risk of having a fucking scratched DVD upon my first time opening the box set. Like, come on, Shout Factory. <sighs> and... Yeah, one, two, three, four discs again, and yeah, uh, I guess that's about all that's included. On the back of the cases, you could see we have the uh, episode listings and uh, the order they're in on the discs, and that's nice. It's I'm glad they even included it because you could always. 
I swear there's, like, more than enough DVDs that don't include episode guides at all. Or not guides, necessarily, but a list of what's all on each disc. But I would really prefer this be in, like, a pamphlet, or, like, a booklet, or, like, a paper insert. That's, I mean, you know, that, in my opinion, is pretty much the best way to do it. Uh, so, let's put this back together. So, is it worth it? Uh, for the price you pay. Um, I mean, it's a nice box set. It's put together pretty well. What have you. Um, and for the most part, I don't think you'd regret it. Like I said, and it is, I guess, somewhat of a nitpick. I uh, would prefer... You, you don't really get any bonuses with this, really. Uh, from what I could tell, it doesn't really list any, like, bonus content. Like, most, most of these box sets have some sort of, you know, commentary episodes. Or what have you. Or, like, behind-the-scenes featurettes. Like, little mini-documentaries about the making of the show. With, like, the directors and producers and actors and whatnot. But this doesn't advertise that it comes with any of it. So I'm not sure if it does. Uh, but, I mean, it's 94 episodes of a TV show. That's almost, like, 100 episodes. Though, granted, I don't know if they're counting each half-hour episode as a full episode or each 15-minute segment of a half-hour episode. Uh, that will be to be determined. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd say probably I spent like 25 bucks on it. That's not too bad. Um, and if you know you like the show already, then yeah, it's not a bad price at all. And if you know that you like the movie already and you want to take a gamble on if the show that expands on that movie is any good, then, you know, it's. I'd say it's probably worth it for that price. Um, Aside from the way those DVDs are stacked, which is a much bigger problem than just this box set. Like, a lot of people do it that way, and it's, frankly, quite irritating. But what can you do? Uh, yeah, 